Welcome to a world of terror and enslavement. Where millions of lives are claimed by the war of the ants. But in this brutal world, straight up war is not the only way. 50 ant species practice slavery, with the most extreme division of labor being the slaver ants. Meet the polyergus, the most intense of the slaver ant tribes. Polyergus are generally 4 to 10 millimeters long, with blackish bodies and sickle-shaped mandibles. They have specialized in slavery so much that they have lost their ability to care for themselves. All they do is raid for slaves, which make up 80 to 90 percent of the ants in their colonies. We'll take you on a journey to witness the cruel banality of nature, starting with the raid. On a sunny summer morning, a colony of Formica ants is thriving underground. But they are unaware of the Polyergus scout that showed up briefly before bolting away. The raid begins in the early afternoon when the scout returns. Spreading pheromones that mass recruit more and more Polyergus ants. The Formica defenders vastly outnumber the attackers, but instead of fighting back effectively, they seem confused and scatter. Polyergus seem to be resistant to the acid sprays of the defenders, making it easier for them to raid. The Polyergus attackers breach deep into the colony, looking for the most valuable possession, the pupae and larvae. They carry them out of the nest, abducting hundreds in the process. Most of the victims will be turned into slaves, with a few unlucky ones being eaten as a sort of snack. The slave-making process begins after the raid is over. The new slaves are covered in polyergus pheromones and are chemically imprinted. When they hatch, they behave as though they are part of the polyergus colony and begin to work for them unconditionally. Keeping the nest clean, caring for the next generation, hunting for food, and feeding their enslavers. The brainwashing is so extreme that if they encounter free formica ants, they will treat them as enemies. It's more like violent abduction and adoption, which is just as cruel. As the Formica only live for a few months, a constant supply of new victims is necessary to survive. But how are new Polyergus colonies created? After all, the Polyergus workers are so useless that a new colony can only be established through a massive raid on another colony. It's a vicious cycle of enslavement and terror, perpetuated by the Polyergus. We hope this journey has shed light on the cruel world of the slaver ants, and the horrors they inflict on their victims. Thank you for watching.